Hello all, I am Sai and in this video I am going to give you some tips in order to read huge, thick, big books. Being a reader myself, I like to read a lot of thicker, huger, bigger books compared to normal sized books and that just gives a feeling of huge satisfaction which does not come with normal sized books usually. I am not discriminating books which are of normal length in any way because I do love normal sized books because most of my shelves are just filled by normal sized books. But at times what happens is just finishing a huge tome which is over 800 or 1000 pages long gives me that satisfaction which normal sized books don't give to such a great extent. Even with that I don't always gravitate towards reading bigger books because all the time they just keep on intimidating me just because of the size itself. After thinking about 2 to 3 years and implementing some things in my reading routine I've brought up some tips which have helped me in order to read bigger books easily and move faster without losing the joy of reading them. So I just want to share them with you guys. So without any further ado let's get into the video right away. The first tip that I'm going to share is the tip which helped me the most in these past two years in order to read huge books and it is to read bigger chunks of the book during each and every sitting. For example if you're going to read an 800 page book and if you've decided to read the book over a couple of weeks the thing which I suggest you to do is that sit down and read as much of the book in the first sitting. For example, if you're going to read an 800 page book, as I said before, don't read 20 to 30 pages of the book, put a bookmark and keep it on your shelf. Because what always happen when you put a bookmark in the 20 or 30 page count, when it comes to huge books is that you keep them on your shelf as a temporary DNF and you're not going to pick them up really soon. So the thing which I do always is, I sit down and read at least 100 pages of the book in the first sitting itself. Having seen that much progress in the first sitting itself, it just encourages me to read the book a lot more often. At the same time, it does not feel stressful or intimidating at all. While we are ready to read a story that is written across hundreds of pages, we need not ruin that experience by thinking that it is huge and we don't want to make that experience for us hard. So the best tip from my side is to read at least 100 pages when you start reading any big book. And after that you can go at your own pace because once you hit that mark it will become much easier for you and you'll just want to read the book a lot more. My second tip is something which I don't even need to say, okay? It is to take your time. It is not necessary to finish each and every book that you start in a specified amount of time. You can read a big book over a course of one year also. It does not matter. It matters only if you are enjoying the book and if you are getting anything out of it or not for your own sake. For example, you might be a great speed reader and if you just end up finishing an 800 page book in two days but you did not enjoy or savor the experience of reading it, it's not that much worth it according to me. So don't think about how much time it is going to take in order to finish reading that huge book because it does not matter. I'm sure that any person in the world who's a book lover is not going to get the opportunity to read all the books that are out there and I've made my peace with it so I just want to put it out there and make people who don't understand and feel guilty for taking their time in reading books because it doesn't matter how much time you take reading a book it just matters whether you are experiencing and enjoying it completely or not. Especially when it comes to bigger books what happens is just in order to finish reading the book we speed through them and we forget the point of reading it so in order to relieve yourself of that stress Take as much time as you want, it doesn't matter how long it takes, just read it slowly and experience it completely. The third tip is probably my most favorite tip of all, especially when it comes to big books and it is to listen to the audiobook of the book that you are reading and physically follow the book continuously also. I have made this with multiple of the big books that I've read so far and trust me that is the best experience, okay? I did not know that there is this phrase which existed called immersive reading and it is the habit of listening to the audiobook while you're reading the physical book along with the audiobook. I've been doing it for over two to three years now and trust me that's my most favorite kind of reading now. Especially if you're a person who has a full-time job like me and if you also want to read a lot more books and even more specifically if they are huger in size, audiobooks are the way to go because it's not always possible to have the amount of brain power it is necessary to read huge books or just books in general itself. And because of how much we are advanced right now and because of the resources that we can tap into, audiobooks have become so much easily available. So make use of them especially when it comes to bigger books because many people want to experience big books but they don't start reading them because of the fear that they'll not be able to finish it or will not have enough energy to finish them. So just try listening to the audiobook while following on with the physical copy. It will definitely change your reading game. The next step is something which can work for some people and might not work for other people. It is to not parallelly read while you are reading bigger books, okay? Especially for me, it doesn't work often because I always like parallelly reading books. That is that I like to read two to three books at a time. It's not like I'm going to read all of them at the same time, right? I'm going to read one book for a particular amount of time and when it feels like the book is getting a bit overwhelming or boring at points, I take a break from it and read some other book and then switch back to this afterwards. But I've seen this help me because when I just put all my concentration on a single book alone, I'm able to finish it faster and experience it a bit more nicely when it comes to parallelly reading other books. So if time is of essence, try to not parallelly read and concentrate on the single book alone. 
my next tip would be to read the book when you are having a lot more energy than you normally do for example i am a morning person and my energy is highest during the morning part of the day it's not like i can complete all my work and read during the evening time because i'll not have that much energy during the night time and i prefer to do some other kind of hobby other than reading when it comes to the evening time for me you might be completely different from me and be a night person so you'll have a bit more energy when it comes to the night time so based on which part of the day you have more energy try to take a slot out of it and make reading a priority there so that you'll have much more energy to read the bigger book which you want to read other times what happens is even if you don't have much energy you'll be able to read smaller books easily but just on seeing the huge size of the book itself you will be intimidated and that might be causing you to not finish reading the book so try to read it during the time when you have the most energy my last tip would be to not see it as a big book but just a long story Trust me when you stop seeing it as a big book and just as a long story you will be much more invested in it and you'll be able to enjoy it a lot more because you'll be having the pleasure of being able to spend a lot more time inside the story that you're reading currently there's no other experience which is better than that when it comes to reading this is very specific to fiction books but when it comes to non fiction books this might not work because most of them are not stories i'm not saying that not any non fiction book is a story at all i have read a lot of robin sharma books so i know how they are but trust me when you stop seeing it as a big book and just a long story you'll be able to finish it a lot faster and also enjoy it a lot more because you'll be able to understand that you're going to stay in there for a longer time so always see it as a longer story and not a bigger book finally having said all these things guys i just want to tell one thing alone okay it does not matter what bigger book you read or what smaller book you read the page count does not matter the word count does not matter it only matters if you are enjoying it or not if you are getting something out of it for your own good or not you need not explain why you are reading something to anyone else at the same time you need not also explain to anyone why you are not reading something all of us are dealing with a lot of different stuff in life and each and everything is unique for each and every person so what we like might not be some other person's cup of tea and vice versa too so just keep in mind that the size of the book doesn't matter it only matters if you are enjoying it or not i'm just putting this video out because i know that many people out there want to read bigger books but they are not able to read them just because of the intimidation from the side so i hope these tips will help you to read those bigger books which you want to read so yes guys those are all the tips which i wanted to share and if you have any other tips apart from the things which i've shared in this video please do drop them in the comments below because it will be useful for a lot of people and if you did find this video useful or helpful in some way or the other don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it to your friends and if you want to get more content from me do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day